God, but I... Yeah. That movie was, like, for a kid, that movie was, like, an epic action thriller. Yeah. Because, like, his future self, and it was, like, super weird, too, because his future self was, like, completely evil, and he was, like, this innocent... He was a teenager, right? He was, like... Yeah. He was 13. Yeah, he was just 13. Well, yeah, when his parents told him he has a massive peen. <laughs> I remembered his age because of... <laughs> Stupid fucking! It's not stupid. It's great. The rap intro. Oh, God, yeah. I love that. Yeah, so yo, much. David Fifty was just thirteen when his parents said you have to. You're a fucking queen. I don't remember the exact lyrics. I was trying to say slay queen. Yeah, slay Anyways. queen. I remember uh, the because fuck. What's her name? Was it not Gwen? Was it Gwen? The it golf might girl? be Gwen. Because I yeah golf. Because there was definitely a girl... Or that, wait, no, is that the Total Drama Island girl? Both her, the Danny Phantom, and the Total Drama Island girl just fucking completely just... Actually, They that, ruined a generation of people for like eight years and then it stopped. Yeah, that... Those two, and don't forget Scott Pilgrim too. I like Scott I Pilgrim too. I never... Too. This might be... This might be like a, a bit of a... Oh shit. But I never watched Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, it's... I think it's fuck. I really liked it at the time because I don't know how much it holds up though. Because I feel like, at least in my head, at least it's very. It's full. It's a reference-based humor show. I I think I saw bits and pieces. I've never I've never seen it end to end. I've seen some scenes of it. There I don't some... think it would hold up just because its jokes are old. The jokes are old, but I actually the one thing I do remember really liking though was um, Scott Pilgrim. Is it's. It almost, you know what? And I know this. Someone else said this. I don't know if I said this opinion. Like this is my own opinion, or I just stole this from someone else. Frankly, I don't give a shit. But I remember um, saying on a video before that that Scott Pilgrim felt like what Alex Yeek should have been, which would make sense too, because I guarantee you the person that made Yeek was like, oh yeah, I like Scott Pilgrim a lot, so I'm gonna base a lot of like the quirks and stuff around him. But he didn't get it right. Fuck! Oh, I'm gonna don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Eat a pie. Oh, gamer moment! Oh my god! Oh my god! Remember, don't stand near that thing when it dies. I got it, brother. Can I? Um, I can change it. I can. I don't want to change it in the SpongeBob. Wait, actually, no, I do want to change the SpongeBob. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim, I Ooh. think was the game. They had a really fun game. Yeah, oh, I know the see. game was a lot of fun. Hey, get the get the coin. No, I gotta go up here and get some because if you get the coin, the thing's over. Ah. Oh. So this one. Uh, okay, then I have to come back here. Never mind then. Well. Well. I. Uh, God. A lot of those cartoons, we're never gonna be able to watch again in the same way. No. Yeah. Where There's, it's like. Because you can you can emulate it by putting together like random cartoon episodes, but you would never have the lineup where it's like the the what do you, what do you even call it? Like the the up oh, next on Nickelodeon, they give you like the three next shows, and you're like, oh boy. Oh yeah. I remember it was like I saw something recently. It was like on Cartoon Network. It's like Eddie and Eddie, uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Chowder, uh, Flapjack, and I'm just like, oh my god, like. That era of cartoons, like, was sort of the last, like, big push, and then it just kind of fell off a bit from there. I know this is a super our generation opinion, but I really feel like cartoons fell off. I, yeah. The last cartoon I remember watching and really enjoying was Adventure Time. Adventure Time, I thought, was really, I really liked Adventure Time. I will actually agree with that, though, because there's a lot of cartoons, even, like, before our generation that I saw, I'm like, oh, this is, this was really nice. I just think the problem, cartoons, yeah, just fell off because people stopped caring about, like, being good. The thing about Adventure Time is, a lot of people say this, but it's not like a one age enjoys show. Mm -hmm. Like, I watched that with my dad, like, not even as a joke. Me and my dad would sit down and watch new episodes of Adventure Time. Yeah. And my dad was probably in his mid-30s at the time. Mm -hmm. That's so he wasn't like he was young. Shows that I really think that can do that really well, where they just, you know, appeal to all ages, and, like, no matter how old you are, it's, it can be really fun and entertaining, like, humorous is really... It's a lost art form. Yeah, and recently, like, I, it might have been, like, a year ago or something. I say recently. Semi-recently. 
my dad actually sat down with my sister and watched a bunch of Adventure Time again. Really? And he's like 40 now. <laughs> and my sister is older than me. I remember too, when I was um, younger, the show that my mom really, cartoon my mom really liked was uh, Foster Some from Imaginary Friends. Oh, I remember that. I, I loved that show. That I was... fucking despised cheese though. You, you didn't like cheese? No. I, I had actually, I think I got like a cheese toy or something like that. It was like they were running at McDonald's. I know I had a, cause my, I, I liked Mac a lot. My mom, her favorite was blue. And I thought- Yeah, blue, blue is a little bit of a I think blue was my favorite. I, blue was so good. Um, actually no, my favorite was a uh, Wilt. I remember that Wilt now. was cool. Yeah. What was I, the name of the, the purple guy? Oh, Five Ed Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> I had to. Ed Edgar? No. It it's on the same lines. Cause I was, I think it's something. It was something like Edgar. I remember. You for know what? Here, I have my phone right here. I remember. Um, specifically though, for some reason, the fucking. Uh, I had the first. I had the two seasons on DVD, and of course, I discovered that you can change the languages to what, like, obviously, like, you can change it, like, oh, from English to French and Spanish. Eduardo. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Something like that. Um, but you can change it, of course, like, the language, and I put it on yeah. French, and I was literally just watching the entire first season, and it was the funniest fucking thing in the world to me, just listening to them talk in French. And I... <laughs> That's like the stupidest thing in the world, but I was just like sitting there. I'm like, I remember to my mom, I'm like, they're talking different. And she's like, uh huh. Yeah, you're retarded. <laughs> French people are funny. Look at you now. Yeah, it's true. It's a premonition. That's a premonition. I also. Anyways, uh, Frankie Foster, that's her name, right? Oh, yeah, I've seen porn of her. Sex icon of our generation. She. I always... say that about every cartoon character who becomes like famous in the porn world. You know what she always felt like to me, though? She never felt like a, oh, I want to fuck her. She always felt like more so like a, oh, I really want to, like, like be with her, actually. God, that sounds so fucking cringy when I say that, but... <laughs> that that does sound cringy. But, like, you know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, she was more... She's more than a fuck, if you know what I mean. That's a long-term commitment. Yeah. Cause I remember, I'm fucking! I'm gonna fuck you. But she felt more like... I might make a bold claim. I don't think it was quite, but she was kind of just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit like mommy girlfriend. At least she gave me that vibe. So I would might... go more with like older neighbor. I can't. Well, okay. I shouldn't say mommy girlfriend because I think that's a bit too strong. But yeah, something that's, like that's why I'm going with the softer older neighbor angle. Like yeah, I... girl next door, but like older and not younger. You, yeah, you oh, yeah, 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 like, she's older, yeah, it's kind of like you feel weird because you're like, oh, she's a bit older, so she wouldn't be into me. But she's thing. nice, so she hangs out with, like, the neighbor's kids who are autistic and retarded. Yeah. And she's like, man, I want some retard dick. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that retard dick hurt, it's big. Is it big. Have you seen that stupid fucking animation of Frankie fucking Blue? Yes, I have. Where it's like, oh, I don't remember why the plot was. He's like, he's like begging to fuck her or something like that. He, and she's like, okay, we can do it once. And it's just like hard cuts to like her with like a ball gag just getting railed. I'm like, oh. I've seen that too many times. <laughs> so anyway, Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> I can't replace Spongebob. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, no. I remember, speaking of jerking all the things, I remember it, it was like a video of Android 18 getting fucked by Cell. And I remember just, I don't know why I jerked off to it like 50,000 times a day. <laughs> it's always the strangest things. I, yeah, I don't know. Because I found it, it's like, it's just, yeah, one of those weird things. Oh, I should skip. But it was like, I saw it, I'm just like, holy shit, this is kind of hot. <laughs> I wonder how many of like current fetishes and likes in terms of uh, people's you know, sexual viewings. The preferred mm -hmm. videos, preferred pictures, preferred fucking whatever they are they're into, whatever they watch. I wonder how much of that was determined by them watching a stupid, like, comedy type porn video. Like that Frankie fucking blue one. I'm trying to think now, too. It how has many... to be, like, at least a decent number of 4 chainers and Redditors. Because I saw that when I was pretty young, and it's like I have had a thing for Android 18, like ever since then, basically. I kind of granted Android 18 is literally an anime character. It's a bit different than a cartoon character. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think though, 
two of like some cartoon characters that like I genuinely was like, oh, I really have a thing for them. I have to really think about that. Anyways, Android 17. Oh, Android 7. Oh, hell yeah. Have you ever seen the Dragon Ball Z abridged? Uh, yes, I have like years ago. The only thing I ever remember from that show is Android 19, I believe he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trucker hit. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the only thing I ever remember from that. God. Because I, I know people like make reference to that sometimes, and all I can ever think about is Trucker Hat. That's the only part my brain has chosen to remember is fucking <laughs> Trucker Hat and God. the mahogany disc. What was, um, what the fucking, uh... Dog doing? What the dog doing? I can't think of the stupid bit. I forget what uh, show it was from, but I love that series so much. It was, uh, I met soup! Was that uh, yeah, but that became famous much later. Yeah, I remember... Because I, well, I saw it when it originally like came out. It was, um... What is the anime? Because uh, I like the anime, and that's the reason why I watched it. I remember. I don't even know what it's from. I don't remember. My brain no work. It was... I, I keep want to say Code Lyoka, but that's not it at all. It was, a uh, Code Geese? Guys? I think? Code Geass? Geass? Guys? Uh, guys? I don't I know how to say it. No one does. It's Japanese. I always feel I still haven't about... watched that, and at this point, it's out of spite. Yeah. I... At least from what I can remember, at least, I felt like at points it kind of took itself way too seriously. And I think that yeah, was it also... It all took itself way too seriously in Edgy, because how many Edgelords like it? Yeah. I feel like, oh, well, I, that's probably the only reason I liked it, too, because I was, like, a young kid, and it was, like, that period of time, so I was just like, oh, I want edgy. That's why, um, I like... 12, 13, like, 14, and 15? Those years determined your taste in anime and how edgy you are for the rest of your life. <laughs> I, um, that's why also, too, I liked, uh, what's his name? Sasuke from Naruto so much, because I'm like, he's so cool. Look he's so him. cool, that... Do you get that from so many people? They like Sasuke because he's so cool. I like Sasuke because he's Sasuke. Ah! But you know who actually I really liked over Sasuke? That was uh, Gara. And I remember for some reason, I couldn't remember his name for a long time, so I was like, oh yeah, I like the sand fucker. Gara. That's, uh... No, the guy I'm thinking of is like Rock Lee? Yeah, The yeah, one yeah. with the, 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 the weird leg weights. Yeah. And, then, and then he throws them down and makes a giant sand cloud. Yeah. I don't have much Naruto experience. I had, uh, I watched Naruto. I watched the original, of course, but... After that, I got into, like, other shit, and I was just like... Oh, I just, I had a fucking random memory. What was it, uh... Okay. It wasn't, I know, it was Yu-Gi-Oh! You ever watch, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX? I think it was the series right after the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, is that the one with the, like, the, they're separated into, like, different classes or yeah, whatever, based like they, on, like, what color they have, and there's yeah. all sorts of weird lines about, like, whites or, like, sorry, blacks not being allowed places? Yeah, it was, like, or something the, like that. The re I think it was the reds were the outcasts, blues were, was it, the whites were, like, the top, and blues were kind of, like, nerdy, I think, or something? I don't remember. But I remember, specifically, he gave him, um... Or the main character, his name was like Jaden or something stupid like that. Yeah, and I think it was, that sounds right, Jaden. It was like, yeah, he was like, um, and I remember at the beginning of the show, he meets Yugi, but they don't like reveal him, and he's just like, they just show his like, sort of like block the top half of his face, but you can, I mean, you know it's Yugi because it's fucking Yugi, but um, and he's just like, I have a card for you, and what's like that fucking one like brown puff? Uh, oh my god, Karibo? Yeah, Karibo! And he was just like, I got this card for you. He's like, what the fuck is this? He was like, you'll need it, idiot. And then he just leaves. That card's the greatest thing ever. When in the actual game, it fucking sucked hard to <laughs> <cock>. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, and then thinking back, I'm like, that's such a troll move. He like, epic troll. It's just like, hey, you're gonna need this, idiot. That's how you thin out the competition. I remember, uh, too, because it's irrelevant, uh, Bakugan. <laughs> And then, oh, Bakugan. I, Bakugan, yeah, I remember I was saying that before, uh, what was it? It was like, everyone liked Bakugan and had it, but no one fucking knew how to do it. <laughs> because No it was, one played Bakugan because no one knew Bakugan. If you played Bakugan, you just threw it at the floor and like, look at it, it, it look at it. 
That's how, well, too, that's kind of what I did with Yukio. It kind of worked out, actually, in my favor, where I didn't really early on look at the stats or anything. I was just like, this card looks really cool, so I'll put it in my deck. That's it, the childhood way. That is, absolutely. I had, um... Oh, fuck. I forget what the monsters were. But, like, you had to, they were, like, they all were had, like, zero everything, but you had to have them all together to work. Oh, my God. Those weird fucking disgusting ones in all different colors. Yeah. And I remember I was, like, I had them. I'm, like, oh, my God. Like, they look so cool. What the fuck am I doing right now? Oh, yeah. Stupid. This is super edgy, but when I was, like, a seven-year-old, I liked Summon Skull. Oh, yeah? What the fuck was that speedrun move? Oh, sorry. Game denied. Oh, that was... I should have absolutely made that, but whatever. I, I remember... I was going to say something about Yu-Gi-Oh. You go ahead. I, uh... I remember, too, I actually... I entered in a fucking, um... Tournament when I was, like, younger. For real? Yeah! Me and my friend Lucas were in it. And he... Oh, I made that barely. But, uh, we actually made it to the finals against each other. And... I think we bet... I forget what we bet... But he was like, I barely lost him. He was like, here, I'll give you my Monster Reborn card. Or, uh, not Monster, was it Monster Reborn? Uh, or Fusion card, I think, or something like that. He gave me. He was like, oh, you played well, whatever, go kill yourself or something, and he gave me that card. God, the, the spirit competition between kids is something real special. Speaking I, of Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. there was a guy who made a deck. I remember this, it was recent. I mentioned this a lot, because I find it hilarious. Oh, is it what he I think only it is? He used only lowly monsters and called himself Sneed. That's and he Jesus won. Christ. He fucking I, destroyed everyone with this stupid lowly deck. I um what was I gonna say? I remember too, cause we had like the fucking armbands things too. And this Oh, is... those things were badass! Dude, I legitimately and I remember we would stand in my like in my breezeway across from each other, and we would like act it out where we would be like, oh, take a thousand life points, and we'd go like, oh do 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 <laughs> And I'm like, oh my Nothing god. Nothing made you feel more like a cool guy than putting on a Yu-Gi-Oh! armband. The only problem was if you weren't careful with them, you would damage your cards. I yes. know that because I damaged some I, of my cards. I did that too. I did that too. And I remember, um... But it was so funny, too, because, yeah, you'd roleplay it out. But it was so satisfying because you'd be like, it's just like the anime when you, someone would be like, hey, I got you. to be like, yeah. ha, ha, not so fast. <laughs> yeah, to a kid, it's like the most badass thing ever. And because you're kids, obviously, you both have very bad strategy. So you'd oh, always yeah. have, like, weird times. You would have just randomly the correct card to get you out of a situation you need. Yeah. Even though it was, like, terrible in every other situation, you just had it because you didn't even know what it did. Oh, my God. I remember that, too, because I was, like, pretty good against, like, kids my age. And then my uh, cousin Nathan was like, yeah, I'll play Yu-Gi-Oh! And he just rolled me. Like, um, it was, like, just a couple moves, and I was just, like, done. And he was just like, yeah, I beat you. F fuck off. <laughs> oh. Uh, nothing will bring the magic back. It's sad what they... Because uh, I, I know I mentioned this before, but Zero was saying, like, how much they fucked up Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, because they kept, you know, to keep it relevant, they kept adding more and more new stuff. Oh, every so I, I was just gonna every say this season is, of the anime, this is, it basically revolves oh. around a new mechanic. Are you ready, kids? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, like, okay. But we were and saying... I mean, for like, for GX, it was like, I didn't mind it. It was like Monster Fusion or whatever. Yeah. There was, like, cool stuff like Elemental Hero Clayman! I, I remember that because I had all the fucking Elemental... It was, like, Elemental Hero, like... Uh, what was it? Like, Falcon? Not Falcon Arrow. Oh, fuck. I, I forget. I forget. All I remember is Elemental Hero Clayman because the fucking the main character would be like, I summon Elemental Hero Clayman! Like, every fucking episode. I'm just like, shut yeah. up! I don't remember any of the other ones other than Clayman. I think one of them has a sword. There was, um... And there was that stupid blue-haired dude, he's like, Here, I summon my stupid little helicopter. I'm like, this is gay. I want blue-eyed white dragon. <laughs> Screw your helicopter, elemental hero clay man. Who was, um... Fuck, I forget the... In the main, in the first show. Who was the, like, main villain, the gray-haired guy? Gray-haired guy? Yeah. Uh, are you talking about the guy with... I might just be completely blending him. Does he have, like, the, the, the gold eye? Yeah. Thing? I don't remember his name, but I, I remember him. I remember, uh, hold on. I'm gonna have to actually probably, I wanna find Isn't the Isn't he the one, like, I've seen 10 moves ahead of you, Yugi boy? Yeah, 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 that was, uh, 
Cause that was- I remember- FUCK! I remember fucking- God, I actually made it pretty decent I for this. I fucking railed his pussy!